0.7 divided by 100 which gives us 0.0347 is our interest rate okay how much should we invest each year to cover your initial liability okay actually this is the annual amount going in or coming out that we need to figure out so we need to figure out f okay so we don't know f so we need to calculate what f is okay and A0 is any initial borrowings or any initial investment that we might make and in this particular case here there's no initial borrowings and there's no initial investments so A0 is equal to zero. So actually from a formula perspective we have all the pieces of information that we require so we can always calculate what F is. So let's just do our formula again, our mortgage sinking fund annuity formula, okay, it looks something like this, okay, so it's once again it's AN is equal to A0 times 1 plus I raised to the power of N plus F times 1 plus I raised to the power of N minus F all over I. Okay, and let's fill in our information. We require 400,000 to be in our account in five years' time. So what we're going to have is we're going to have 400,000, okay, must be equal to, well, A0 is zero. So this term here, A0 times anything, this just naturally falls away. And actually, this is important for a sinking fund when we don't have any initial, initial investment at time zero. The sinking fund actually boils down to AN is equal to this particular term here. This term just naturally falls away because A0 is zero. So actually what we have is 400,000 euros must be equal to this amount here. We don't know what F is, so that's okay. We do know what I is. I is 0 0.0347 and N is at what amount, what time in the future is the balance going to be 400,000 euros? Well, it's five years in the future. So it's raised to the power of five minus F divided by 0 0.0347, okay. Uh, so let's just get our calculator and uh, so let's just do this really quickly. Okay, so we have, well, here's one plus 0 0.0347 is 1.0347 and that needs to be raised to the power of 5. So we have 1.0347 raised to the power of 5 gives us a value of approximately 1.19. Okay, so that's approximately 1.19 here. So we end up with 400,000 is equal to, well, F times 1.19 is the same as 1.19 times F. So that's 1.19 times f minus f divided by 0 0.0347 okay so what i have here is i have 1.19 f's i take one whole f away that leaves me with 0 0.19 f's in other words i have 400,000 is equal to 0 0.19 f divided by 0 0.0347 if I divide 0 0.0347 into 0 0.19, what do we get? We have 0.19 divided by 0 0.0347 gives us a value of, it's approximately 5.48. So what we have is 400,000 is equal to 5.48F. Dividing both sides by 5.4, sorry, 5.48 I should have had here rounded to two decimals so 400,000 is equal to 5.48 f times f so that means f must be equal to 400,000 divided by 5.48 so therefore we have f is equal to 400,000 divided by 5.48 which gives us a value of let's do that 400,000 divided by 5.48 gives us a value of 72,992 euros and 70 cents. So that gives us 72,992.70, okay? So actually really what we have now is this, is that we need to invest 72,000 euros, approximately 73,000 euros into an account each year for five years so that we can meet this liability of 400,000 euros in five years time. Okay, so actually what we need to do is we need to invest 73,000 euros here, 73,000 euros here, 73,000 euros here, 73,000 euros, and 73,000 euros, okay? If we do that each year, okay, we will cover 400,000 euros. Actually, just look at this here. That's 73,000 euros, uh, 73,000 euros by five. 
gives us about 365 actually so from a naive perspective each year we put in 73,000 euros the totality of that is 365,000 but when interest kicks in let's keep that in mind when the interest payments kick in for each one of these over the period of time that it's been invested for okay so for each one of these investments over each period of time when all them interest rates kick in okay what we will have is we will have made I suppose we will have made again of approximately 35,000 euros which will get us to the 400,000 euros that we require okay uh, so guys uh, this is uh, this is how we calculate a sinking fund you can see it's actually quite straightforward hmm. maybe just uh, as I said earlier on just a word of caution a typical sinking fund is really asking us how much will we do we need to invest in the future f each year in the future to meet a particular liability okay we can also start our investment off at a particular value okay and then ask how much should we should we have in the future okay or how much should we invest at the end of each year okay uh, okay guys, uh, once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and the next video in this particular series of videos is going to look at a sinking fund where we have an initial investment as well. We have an initial amount that we put by. Okay? We'll actually work the same example. So once again, uh, once again, thank you for uh, watching this. I hope this was in some way intuitive and more importantly I hope, was, I hope it was helpful. So thank you.